Hey, how are you guys doing? I hope you're having an amazing day. So, we're going to make a uh, massive run today. It's actually bigger than any of the other ones I've done. We're going to do 1,000 clicks on the Weapon Techno Gizmo 1. Now, the Weapon Techno Gizmo 1 generates a vast array of blueprints. In fact, let's look at this. The gizmos as a whole are categorized, specialized, like for blueprint training or blueprint generating. And so, of course, this attachment one would generate a bunch of blueprint attachments, armor attachment, I mean, armor, blueprints and stuff like that. Um, we're going to be doing the weapon techno one. Now, that's going to generate a bunch of weapon techno ones, which are techno gizmo ones, which we can use in the techno gizmo two and so on. Most of the advanced ones we're going to run on Planet Cyrene. Um, for a breakdown, I paid 1% markup on just the animal muscle oil part of it. We're going to be using 20, 1,000, so 20,000 of them. And so 20,000 of them was 606 pad. These, I ended up paying about a 30% uh, markup when I crafted them. And so that's about 390 ped in value. And then, of course, each click is 110 nanocubes. And so that ends up being 1,100 ped in value. And that is just for the uh, 1,000 clicks. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, like always, I'm going to have this set up so you can see exactly what blueprints pop and stuff. I will go over any blueprint that does pop, just so you guys know, and it'll be down here. Um, right here, you're going to be able to see the skill rewards plus any the ped value of the actual hits that we get. That's going to be really handy. Um, it goes down to a higher decimal point than up here or anywhere else. Right here, you'll be able to see the skills and stuff as they occur. Um, it'll kind of keep track of it loosely. I think it's handy, but I'm not sure how handy I think. Like always, I'm going to make my face disappear so I'm not just sitting here, like, watching it awkwardly. I am going to be sitting here having coffee and stuff. Anything that happens, I'm going to go over, and I'm going to go over it again at the end. I'll go over my uh, level real quick, just so you guys know. This guy absolutely is a qualified weapons engineer. He crafts a crap load of weapons. And so, um, skill-wise, we're qualified on everything all the way up to Tier 5 um, for weapons engineering. And so, the only thing we're missing is industrialists, which we won't get until we're like level 60. And honestly, at that point, it'll, uh, it'll be a very slow effort towards uh, getting that caught up at all, to be honest. And so I'm going to go ahead and get this going. I do hope you guys are having an amazing day. Like always, please send some positive vibes. This is an expensive run. And so uh, it would be nice to at least come close to breaking even. Or maybe even have something amazing happen like a HOF or something. I'm going to twist myself just slightly like that. And we're going to click this and get going. Send positive vibes. And by the way. I hope you're kicking butt in your own gameplay. So that's a good start right off the bat, right? So let's really hope here. I'm going to watch. Oh, let's go over this part too. The blueprint I'm using is not all the way maxed out, guys. I just started making these weapon technogismos recently. And so we're only at 53% quality rating so that'll go up 53.7 let's write that down somewhere okay so far though this is looking very successful correct
thank you by the way very much i am really actually hoping that this goes well let's cross fingers right So I would suspect we'd be getting a blueprint pretty soon because this is a pretty good blueprint popping blueprint. I've ran it before for blueprints. I know that it technically gives out a large dispersion of blueprints. But really where we're wanting the blueprints later on is when we run it for the more advanced ones on Cyrene. We definitely want it to do well. I'd want it to do well here too though, just for the record. But when we start running it up the level, that's that's when it really becomes important.
Okay, so finally, we're starting to roll it. So we just got an 11 ped. That's not bad, but the thing is, this is what's cool about it. Those have a 3,000% markup. And so, that's definitely epic as crap. Plus, we make long blades, honestly, so... Kind of extra bonusy. Get a piece of paper to start writing this stuff down as they roll in. I was wondering, boy, took a long time to start getting the first blueprints. Okay, so with that one, we got double blueprinted. We got another weapon gizmo, plus that 21 pad. I wonder why it doesn't show a double blueprint, but we did get double blueprinted. And then we got 65 clickies of um, this BC-40, which seems to have a pretty good markup.
Okay, we just hit the one quarter point right just there. So that's a good sign. We're at three blueprints. We'll probably get at least the amount we've got again. So cross your fingers. It'd be really cool if we got an HOF though. Just saying. I always want one. We don't always get one. Obviously, we normally don't get one. But I think that's everybody's hope, right? Or a blueprint discovery. But that that's very, very unlikely. Especially on something like pretty established blueprints at tier one, you know.
crap and yeah look at that so we did get a global that's super exciting holy crap always get excited about that and it's bc 45s i don't really make these but i probably should three thousand almost four thousand percent markup on that though that's super cool Thank you, by the way. So that was not a bad little hit right there either. I mean, no blueprint, but value-wise, some of these are pretty strong.
Okay, so we just got another Techno Gizmo 1. Which is not horrible, you know what I mean? And so... Pretty good. I think we're doing awesome, actually. Okay, now we're at the halfway point. I'd say we're doing pretty good, but honestly, who knows, right? I mean, like, it looks good, but I have not run a run like this, and so uh, I don't have perspective context. Like, but with that global, that definitely sweetened the pot, right? So let's ride this out, see what happens on this back end. I hope we have an equal success amount on the back end, honestly. I'm going to kind of look at this, see how much this has progressed. 571. Oh yeah, I bought it QR1, or Zebra 1. It was a fresh one. I've just ran it a little bit before already, so I know it actually produces blueprints and stuff. But yeah, I also uh, have worked up the number 2 and 3 a little bit, but not near as much. And we're going to, on Cyrene, push all the way, all the way through them up to the Tier 5. Which is the, the zone I'm qualified to actually pop in. Anything above that would just be uh, catastrophic. And honestly, because the quality ratings on my 4 and 5 are not at anywhere built up, it's going to be pretty rough. But what we're hoping for is to pop something good, unique, that we can have off of uh, Sirene. It's something to manufacture for my little shop. And on top of that, we'll get some unique stuff. I mean, like, we'll, we'll do well. It just, it will be costly when we go to Cyrene. This is not going to be, because we're built up enough. But, uh, 
I expect Cyrene to be brutal on us a little bit, just to be honest.
Okay, so we got some short blades. These are the little trainers. That's not bad. SB25s. People like those. Okay, so we got 42 clicks of uh, laser pistol 45s. Honestly, all the laser pistol laser rifle stuff's popular. Not just the blueprint, the actual items. On laser rifles and laser pistols, I actually don't mind making those myself. Like actually keeping the blueprint. Especially laser rifles or long blades, honestly, to be. I use that kind of stuff. Plus, keep it usually up for sale. So, that's kind of good, right?
Okay, we just passed the three quarter mark. And so we're we're in the final countdown zone at this point, right? Let's cross fingers, hope big. I mean this looks good. I mean from a look perspective, right? But uh who knows? Okay, let's see what we got. BP uh twenties. Huh. See, I don't make those, but cool that those are good price range. Not as many people, it doesn't feel like, actually use ballistic weaponry. I mean, the laser weaponry is definitely, in my opinion, the dominant stuff. I mean, we could check cell stats, too. That we'd know for sure, but it definitely feels like when I throw uh, laser weapons and stuff like that, they they move fast. Not so much on some of the other stuff, unless you're selling something in a rare level. I mean, it all sells, but uh, my basic proficiency and stuff like that is all over the board. So I don't try to just make a bunch of stuff that I'm not better leaf like set up to make actually but definitely uh this looks good i think we're kicking butt you guys i'm waiting to see the final stats on this because this is just such a freaking expensive run but uh it's gonna give us a ton of twos or ones that we can use on our two run there's a Gizmo 3. I'll probably put that in there if they have any reasonable sales rate. Um, so somebody else can get that if they need it. Just so you guys know at the end of this, I'll throw any blueprint like this kind of stuff. And I'll make it one pad exactly. So there won't be some kind of weird markup on it and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys are even looking for this stuff. But I'll throw... This is not correct. This is one that's at a higher um, quality rating. Let's find this. Let's find the cell itself, right? Okay. I don't think my thing is popping this stuff right. We should have more bars, you guys. Where's my blue bar? For some reason, our blue bar isn't projecting itself. We really kind of need the blue bar to have a clue what the heck's going on, you know? Okay, well, I'm not going to tell you my opinion because I honestly don't know what's going on without being able to actually look at data. Plus that this this is pretty good, that right there. We're not disappointed at that. That's nice to see. If we saw that much more consistency, like we'd be just slaughtering, right? It's vastly more than what we put into that.
Okay, so we got a Techno Gizmo 4. I'll put that in the auction house also, and I will make all these one pet, just so you guys know. Obviously, we don't get a lot of those in the auction house. Boom. It's going to go in there one pet. Put that on my list. I'm also keeping a list on a piece of paper. So that 10 pad one is not horrible too. Some of these have been just absolutely really good. So we're towards the tail end. Last 100 clicky clicks. So far this looks awesome. So let's really hope we have some, I don't know. I think that it's, we're good actually where we're at. I, mean, I would always take another global, but like who wouldn't i think that's an across the board anybody that plays this game is definitely not going to be like hey i don't want to have some kind of lucrative event happen so but i would i would take it just so you know but i do feel that so far this looks good i mean we'll look up here real quick anyway so just on just kicking butt outcomes i think right there that's that's pretty strong pulling i mean i get it we have this whole opposite end in value where we got our butt kicked probably for oh what five pages six pages six pages into 6.5 page now 5.5 5.5 pages that's not horrible right let's see how well we did one two I'm gonna be honest, I'm not not as impressed with this direction as our butt kick direction. This is impressive though. Like that's what I would say. Overall though, I'm happy. I think we got some great progress on some stuff. This definitely went up a little. I wrote this down. We were at five three point seven at the beginning. So we got a whole five. So twenty of these runs. We'd have this maxed out, guys. I mean, like, if we had started at nothing. Right now, less than 10 more of these runs. And we'll have it maxed out. Of course, like, that's going to be obviously not today. Yeah, that's definitely going to be over the next uh, year, probably. But I do want to get this this maxed out. I'd like to get the, the Tier 2 one maxed out, too. Honestly, realistically, pushing all the way into Tier 5 and pushing it anything further than we're just making some runs into there, not realistic for this year. Yeah, like, we'll get into it, but uh, 
definitely this is going to be a slow process. And I'm sure there's somebody pumping the tier 10 blueprint somewhere, but not I, and I'm not really sure who that is, so. But good for them. It's kicking butt. I'd like to see what they're, they're generating, to be honest. Plus the cost on that. Can you imagine? Because each one of these takes more into the next one. So it's not even like we're going to be equal converting. Like, we'll take all the gizmo ones from this run here on uh, Calypso. I'll do a whole nother run on Cyrene, right? We'll take both of those to make our runs of twos. That's going to cut drastically. We won't get all those back. So on our Gizmo 3, I don't know where we're even going to be on that because my blueprint on the Gizmo 3 is not that worked up. So Gizmo 4, that's right there where we're going to be in our getting our butt kicked. And the Gizmo 5 run, we'll just be getting into it. And honestly, we'll probably get slaughtered. But if we can pop something, a good blueprint that's like a permanent blueprint off the 5, It'll be legendary, especially on Cyrene. And so, absolutely going to be a, that I think will take about that many months, guys. Just so you guys know, I literally, budget-wise, cannot just run these all the time. Hold on one second. I got to click my phone so it's not just ringing in the background real quick. Sorry about that. So, we're almost there. I always watch this tell end. It seems like it drags more than any of the middle part and stuff. And I think it's the anticipation of seeing the statistics on it. Because it could go either way at first, you know what I mean? Like, in the beginning. But at this point, unless something drastic happens, I would say what's occurred has a solidified out. And so... Very close. So do anybody think we're up? I'm going to grab my phone so we have a calculator. I want to know the actual data on this. Uh, I don't know if we're up, but I don't think we got our butt slaughtered. I mean, and the reason I don't think we got slaughtered is I think that that global. Without the global, it might have. Uh, it might have been brutal, brutal. And so we'll find out real quick. Okay, last 10. So this total cost on this with markup and everything, you guys, was 1,996 pet. I know, right? You're like WT. I was WT too while I was buying all the stuff. Like it was 600 pet and 6 pet just in muscle oil. And honestly, that wasn't the most ridiculous part. You've got 1,100 pet in just nano cubes. Right? That, that's kind of ridiculous. But it's okay because we've got it done. And we'll look at what it's going to look like for the other ones because honestly, this, this was a pretty uh, costly little run. So ready? Let's see the statistics. For one, we did get our global. That's kind of nice. Right? Everybody loves the global. I love the global. Let's see how bad this is. Or good. Right? We don't know either way. You know, I mean, we, we, we got our butt kicked, but not, not to the level you would think, right? So let's calculate this up. So we spent, for sure, uh, 1,000, 
996 pad. And uh, oh, let's, let's do it the opposite way, right? Let's actually do it. So we got back 1,026.30 divided by 1,096. Okay, so we got back 86.487 something percent return. So it wasn't massively a slaughter. That's over a 10% loss. I don't kind of like that. The thing is, though, in what we did get return-wise, let me click this out. Most of it has 3,000% markup and stuff, um, or at least 1,000% markup. Legitimately, though, reality-wise, a good chunk of this stuff I'm going to manufacture in which I'll get actually a better return strong wise than, than the percentage of markup of just selling the blueprints themselves. And so, I mean, on some of the stuff, I don't make it. So like I will sell the blueprint, but on anything that I craft, the percent return off of a crafted item is actually going to be better than the blueprints themselves. Oh, let's look at that too. Let me, let me drop these in here. So whoever's going to get those can get them. So I'm dropping this Gizmo 4. It's a weapon Gizmo 4. It's going to go in there at exactly one pad. What was this? A Gizmo 3? Yep, Gizmo 3. Because this might help one of you guys out. I don't know. I mean, it's going to tell me it's below markup in every single one of these. Because it's going to be below markup. We're not really necessarily trying to make pad off of people. Um... Uh, on that kind of stuff and so it's a different thing now let's look at what we actually got this wise so we got 800 and so oh no that's so we've got 2300 something weapon gizmos right so on the gizmo 2 and let's go with that because that'll be what we're eventually going for right We'll do an, another gizmo run, but the next gizmo run I'll do will be on Planet Sirene. The gizmo twos, and as you can tell, I need two. Oh, I only need one to one. So we have plenty to do a big run, but you guys got to remember each time we go to the next gizmo, they're going to ask for more two. Like when we get to the three, they're going to want a two. And so... By the time we get to this five, you've got to imagine that we're going to be burning a crap load of stuff. Now, it does look like we use less nanocubes for some reason, right? Look at this. Because we used... Oh, yeah. So we're using less nanocubes per, per thing. Is that what we're looking at? Why did we have to use so many freaking nanocubes? Oh, yeah. That's... So it looks like the next ones might actually be less expensive. Let me look over this. I mean, minus what it costs us to make them. I'm going to be honest, you guys. It looks like we've almost got the next one set up already for these twos. And so I don't know. Like, I mean, the next ones will be on Cyrene. But the goal would be to run all the way up through the Weapon Tech Gizmo 5 on Cyrene, because that's the zone I'm qualified to go up to. Anything past that will get slaughtered, and it won't be worth it. And so uh, that's basically it for the day. I hope that helps you guys out if you guys are looking into crafting. It also, by the way, the other blueprint that pops them like crazy is the Gesture Blueprints. The gesture ones, twos, and I'm going to show you that real quick. It's very important to know this stuff. So commonly and epically, these will generate quality blueprints also, just so you guys know. And in the same zone. And so tier-wise, kind of match it up and stuff. But excellent for popping blueprints, especially weapon. And also excellent for training. Um, thanks for hanging out. Peace and very best wishes, and I hope you guys have a great day.